We are back again for monthly empties. This time, it's the month of May. Can you believe that half the year is almost behind us? It just goes so fast. But anyway, today is monthly empties for May. I do this segment every single month, just like always. All of the links to the products and items that I share with you today will be in the description box below this video. If there's something that I would not recommend or repurchase, I will let you know, but just like every month, you see a lot of repeat items because I'm very product loyal. If I love something, I stick with it. Even when someone recommends something, I'll be honest with you, if I love what I'm using, typically I'm not gonna branch out. I'm just easy that way. Maybe that's limiting me, but it works. It works and that's all that matters. Just like every month, I share with you the number 10 scalpel that I use to derma blade or derma plane my face. I typically go through one of these per month. We have some Neutrogena makeup remover cleansing towelettes in singles. I always pick these up on repeat. They are great for when my daughter that lives in New York comes home. I also use these for travel. And as I've shared many times in the past, if I am out in the evening, which we all know evening for me is much earlier than most people, but if I am going to be coming home from anything right before bed and I have makeup on, I wash my makeup off in the car, in the passenger seat while my husband is driving so that it's all taken care of when I get home. And I do pack these in my little kit that I take with me in the car. And I'll tell you, even today, we are going to be gone this evening. We will be arriving home probably close to eight o'clock when I go to bed. I already have my PM skincare packed in the car so that I can take care of that on the way home. Just always have done that. Kind of kill two birds with one stone. That way I can be ready for bed. And he never cares, and it's just something I've always done. In this Ziploc bag, because you know I cut my products open, we have a favorite, always on repeat, already have another one in my shower, Dr. Brandt Pore Dermabrasion Pore Perfecting Exfoliator, my exfoliator of choice. I actually use it every single day in the shower. Um, it works for me. Yeah, that could be too much exfoliating for some, but not for this sister. Used up a 30% glycolic acid chemical peel. I have been doing a chemical peel on my own about once a week. Really a lot of spa treatments I do on my own. The whole dermaplaning or dermablading, that's something you typically would get done in a spa. I do my own, and I recently started doing my own 30% chemical peel and I recently just bought a 40% although I need to look into it a little further because it's not acting as strong as this 30% so I'm questioning if it's a straight glycolic acid. My guess is not because it should feel stronger than the 30% and it doesn't. Every single month, Opalescence Go Teeth Whitening. This is my hydrogen peroxide tooth whitening system. Can't be without this. I do have a video where I walk you through step-by-step -step the products and a tutorial of how I whiten my teeth. So I will have that video linked below. Gillette Mach 3 Razor Cartridge Refill. I show this every month. We do have one makeup item. It is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara, which is not cooperating. Uh, yeah, just dried up. Already have this repurchased, and I also have one in the can. This is something I always make sure I have, I'm stocked up on. I recently did a full face makeup tutorial just a few weeks ago. That video will be linked in the description box as well. I, I walk you through all of the products and step-by-step -step how I do a full face of makeup. We have the Tressa Watercolors Root Concealer in dark brown. I recently shared a video how I use this product in between my color touch-ups. Get my hair color touched up every five weeks. In fact, today is day one. Uh, I'm coming off fresh from yesterday, getting a color touch-up and a hair trim, which I never like my hair the first couple days after a trim, so not crazy about it today. 
but that just goes with the territory. But I, I do use this as I get closer to that color touch up. I am also testing a product that was recommended to me. It's called Gray Away Root Touch Up Quick Stick. I have used it a few times and I'm seeing where it's nice to have in my arsenal. So I will keep you posted on this, but I will have my touching up the gray video linked in the description box below. We have a Sebastian Shaper Plus Extra Hold Hairspray. Always have this on repeat. I already have one in my bathroom. Moving into supplements, I have an apple pectin, niacin, which is also known as vitamin B3. Watch for that niacin flush. Vitamin K2 and a blood sugar support. Every one of these has already been repurchased and will continue to be. Advocare Spark Energy, already repurchased. I drink this every morning pre-workout. If you are fasting, uh, you probably wouldn't be able to have this. There's a little bit of calories in it. Post-workout is my Transparent Labs BCAA Glutamine. Every month I share with you the Members Mark Total Protection Underwear for Women in Small Medium. I talk all the time. When I use these, I believe in last month's video, which I'll link, I went more in detail about these, so I'm not going to this month. Dawn Dish Soap, love it for so many things. It is the best. This is what I use every single day to wash my makeup sponge and my concealer brush, of course, to wash dishes as well. I use Dawn Dish Soap for many cleaning, um, just household, so many uses of it, but I also use Dawn dish soap and warm to hot water to, to clean my beauty sponge and my concealer brush. Anything that goes into liquid, I wash after every makeup application. We have a doggy item for my grand pup, Norman, as many of you already know about him. This is the Purina Frosty Paws. It's like ice cream, basically, for dogs, and this is in the peanut butter flavor. Moving into food items, I've been showing this a lot lately, the Ezekiel 4 verse 9 sprouted grain English muffins. I also have the bread loaf as well. I prefer the English muffins, but my local grocery store was out, so I did have to buy a loaf of the bread. Um, but love these. And I actually love them with Kerrygold butter. I talked about this last month. This is my favorite butter. I will put butter on the English muffin and then top it with egg whites. And it is just so delicious. I can make all of my food taste really good. So yeah, this is the butter of choice. Sometimes I will use half of an avocado on my toasted English muffin and then put my egg whites on it. So it just depends. If I don't have an avocado on hand, this is my go-to. A couple protein sources that I always keep on hand for even as a snack. We have some natural chicken breast. I will eat a can of this just as a snack or as my meal. I had one of these today. Another thing that I had today as a snack is a chunk light tuna, a star kissed. So when people talk about what they have as snacks in between meals, this is typically what you would see me eat. It's always, it's generally always going to be a protein source. Uh, most people will eat something that's more of like a bar or maybe some nuts, which that could be a great idea, but I find that sometimes too many almonds or walnuts can get us into trouble. Typically, this is just what I will go to. So I've already had a pack of this today, and I already had a pack of this. And I did have an Ezekiel English muffin as well with my four egg whites. Emptied a bag of my frozen orange roughy. I picked this up, frozen fillets, fresh, fresh frozen fillets of orange roughy at my local fish market, another great source of protein. Very lean fish and very mild fish if you like a mild fish. If you don't like fish, don't get orange roughy. Don't get any fish if you don't like it. But orange roughy is a nice mild fish. It's very lean and it's great for someone who likes to keep their protein high within their diet or their macronutrients. Emptied some baby spinach. Here's a little indulgence for me. This is by Simple Truth and it's the exotic vegetable chips, but you can get these in name brand and actually even Aldi has them. We used to pick them up all, all the time. I'm not a chip 
person or a cracker person. I don't snack on chips unless it's nachos. I love nachos, <laughs> big time, too much. Um, but I'm not a potato chip or a Dorito or anything like that. I wouldn't eat Cheez-Its or Goldfish, any crackers or munchies like that, but I do love these. They are so good. They are not healthy. They are not, even though they're a vegetable chip, they are no different than eating a potato chip, but these are super good. Not a whole lot comes in the bag, even though there are six servings per container. I can sit there and polish off a whole bag, so I have to be really careful. This would definitely be a cheat for me. A couple other cheats for me if I'm going to have them at home are little flatbread pizzas, which is another weakness of mine. I talked about the goat cheese and beet sauce pizza in the last couple empties videos. Really loved that. Recently, my grocery store was out of it, probably because I had stocked up. But I did like this California Pizza Kitchen. It's basically a cheese one made with the cauliflower crust. It was good. I would recommend it. And then this one by Private Selection, which is from Kroger, the French goat cheese in marinated vegetable thin crust pizza. Really good. Love it. I will say that the goat cheese and beet sauce is probably my favorite because I love the combination of goat cheese, especially melted with that beet sauce. But because this one has goat cheese as well, this would be my second one. I just love goat cheese. I could just sit there and eat it. And especially when it starts melting like that and it's mixed with vegetable type stuff, love it. And when I make myself a thin crust pizza, I will make my husband the CPK, California Pizza Kitchen barbecue chicken recipe. He likes this one. He likes when I chop up an extra onion and put it on there and drizzle more barbecue sauce. So if I have time, I will do that. And then just a couple empty bottles of wine. I actually have a champagne here. Uh, we had mimosas on Mother's Day and McKenna brought over a bottle of champagne, but we needed an additional one. So I opened this bottle, which was kind of tough to do because I think this bottle of champagne, this is true champagne. So. She brought over sparkling wine, which is what most people serve. And if I'm going to make mimosas, I'm always going to use a sparkling wine, not champagne, because that would be a costly mimosa. Um, but I did end up having to open this up and I think it's like a $60 bottle, but that's okay, it was worth it. And then I also have this rosé. I've had a lot of rosés around the house. I shared last month, rosé is not my wine of choice. I'm just not really crazy about it but not that I wouldn't drink it, especially if, I, if that's all I have, but you wouldn't see me order a rosé at a restaurant. Well, there you have it. Monthly empties for May. And again, all the links will be in the description box below, as well as if you click that top link, which will take you to the corresponding blog post. Don't forget that all of my recipes are on the website under the recipes tab. So check that out. Also make sure that you are subscribed to my Friday newsletter. Really important, I share a lot of information and details, things that I purchase in there. And then there's also the Hensel coaching and consulting that comes out once a week as well. So make sure you're registered for all of those. I'll have links to everything in the drop down or on the corresponding blog post. But thanks for joining me and I'll be right back here on June 1st with your next video. Take care.